men of reddit what's the strangest boner you've ever had every single day in grade 9 gym like clockwork didn't help i was in basketball shorts i regularly go hiking with my wife every time we are at or near the top or a mountain or cliff and i look over the edge i get hard airplane boners almost every time during takeoff i have lift off not sure if it's the sudden change in altitude or cabin pressure or what but i pretty much expect it every time now i used to get an erection just before i got off the bus to school every day for almost a year when i was about 14. it would have been super embarrassing but fortunately my erection isn't especially difficult to hide when my wife and i got married we got a bunch of money as wedding presents we lived abroad and the wedding was in her home country so people mostly gave cash rather than giving us gifts that we couldn't take with us. We got home after the wedding and counted all the cash and I got a raging boner by the time we were done. Worth noting that the amount was more than we had in our name at that point. Anyone else get the crying wife gf boner or am I the only terrible person here? My girlfriend when she's just finished crying. I don't know why but I think it's the way her eyes look when they're wet. Had to explain multiple times it's not over her crying. One time I hit my head hard and I got the hardest bone ever. Math class boners in high school. I was at a Christian music festival. A friend of mine at the time was sad because his girlfriend broke up with him. And the band that finished on the stage was the couple's favorite and played their favorite song. He started crying and hugged me. I was his shoulder to cry on. But then I felt myself chubbing up. Some guy is crying his eyes out on my shoulder and I'm getting a boner. That was frocking weird. Will answer for my spouse. Even though he might give a different answer. He went through a phase where he was really. Really captivated by owls. We went to a bird park. Unaware they had an entire indoor enclosure filled with different types of owls. It was dark and eerie inside. Your eyes had to adjust. And the owls in different rooms sort of crept up on you. There. Were. So. Many. Owls way more owls than he had dreamed of seeing that day it probably took us half an hour to walk through needless to say he was very moved strangest was probably when i had an intense workout session and got ready to go to bed after a shower i was so exhausted and seriously didn't feel like jerking one off so there i was just lying there with a raging boner trying to sleep it's not the worst or more embarrassing experience but it was certainly strange that my dig was just like now is my time to shine. Me. A straight male. Was turned on by my male friend yelling and swearing at me while hitting me with a ball. I still think about it sometimes. In 7th standard we were reading reproduction in plants. And I got a boner. The teacher teaching was pretty hot. So that could be a reason. Anytime a woman tells me she loves me or goes into some emotionally related tangent about her feelings for me I get a massive hard on. Not my boner obviously. But I was doing first aid training and swimming lessons and had to practice the Heimlich on an unconscious victim with a partner in front of the whole class which includes straddling the victim. As I was doing this demonstration I realized I could feel my partner's fully erect penis rubbing on me. We were in bathing suits. I was mortified. I can't even imagine the horror this poor dude felt. At the dentist during a root canal. I think I was grade 1 or 2. Every time O Canada would happen in the morning my dig wanted to stand at attention. This girl told me the specific reason she loved me which immediately gave me a boner. After being alone for years and barely having any human contact I got a boner from a cat cuddling me and doing the kneading thing they do. It was completely involuntary reaction and I feel weird about it to this day. Got stung by a bee. I am on the ground writhing in pain. Grab my EpiPen. Inject myself get an instant boner. Boner lasts until I get to hospital. Apparently it's normal. I wasn't too thrilled. Every time I wear tight pants I get a boner. Could not explain the reason why. Maybe my own ass gets me excited. Church boners when I was in grade school. There were giant paintings on the ceiling with semi-denude cherubs and lots of women there in dresses and nylons. I still have a thing for nylons and dresses. Church and cherubs not anymore. Every day when I got a lift to school, there was a hill we had to drive over. Whenever we drove up the hill I got a boner. Every. Single. Time. I doesn't matter what time of day it was. What day it was. I would get that same boner. 
I still do to this day. I used to have a pretty hot hair cutter and her trim clippers vibrating around around my ears could do it. Luckily it was gone by time she pulled the drape off. I got a boner from being appreciated and respected. Weirdest feeling ever. Not the boner the other thing. But the timing was very odd. Five years ago. I got a boner during every Christmas exam. Every. Single. One. Once me and my new girlfriend were sitting on the couch watching TV. I was not feeling very sexual or anything just very relaxed. She had her leg over my leg. And I started playing with and touching her foot. With a sock on. Next thing I know I realize my dig is fully erect in a matter of seconds. That's the moment I learned I kinda like feet. My children's father would get one every time he sneezed. He was a sneeze 8xs in a few seconds person. Led to some comical situations and uncomfortable ones I'm sure for him. Edit so apparently I should have put more personal information on Reddit. Anyways. I speak in past tense. Well. Because he died. But you know. Baby daddy and such is so cute. S. Went swimming in a river with best friend and his sister back in high school. Turns out there were lots of leeches and we all had to check each other and I ended up pulling leeches off of the side of my best friend's older sister's breasts. Somewhat understandable. But weird. When my ex told me she wasn't sure if she loved me and if she still wanted to be with me I kinda cried a little bit and she hugged me and I got a boner. I really didn't want to and it pissed me off. Every now and then when I'm taking a sit. If the turd is big enough and solid enough I think it stimulates my prostate because I'll get hard while it's coming out. I went to the bathroom during class my sophomore year of high school and came back to find a car boot on my chair. It had been lying in the classroom for a week or so. Not sure why. Someone decided put it on my chair that day and I told my teacher. She proceeds to start yelling at me like I did it and what do you know. Popped a boner. Thank god my desk was at the back of the classroom and I was sitting. There was this video of some sort of sea creature like a barnacle and it was opening and closing at the top. I got a hard on looking at it. Apparently I'm attracted to barnacles. At my grandmother's funeral an attractive girl was wearing very tight khaki pants and I happened to notice her from behind. It didn't help that I quickly realized she was my first cousin. Anytime my wife is lounging in our house with her legs wide open. My penis thinks it's an open invitation even when it's not. Got a fear boner one time, I'll leave it at that. No one will see this so I'm not afraid of people judging me lol. I get a boner whenever I play with Lego. I don't know why, I don't know how. It's not my sitting position. I am bewildered by this. That dolphin copypasta. I was like what the frock is this sit? And more importantly why am I kinda thorny? Edit. Here's some R I bleach because I know you dirty frocks are gonna go looking for it. Edit 2. I was reminded recently about a song I heard on Reddit made by a very small band I while ago. I wanted to tell them how much they changed my views on music but I never had the opportunity and can no longer find their post. Now that this post is gaining traction might as well give the band a little popularity boost. Everyone go listen to Colossal Rex on Spotify. The song I like most is Seer. While reading the comments on this post. A few years ago when my ex and I started really getting to know each other physically we'd smoke weed before having sex. It was awesome. My buds hadn't seen me in like a month so when I came back to chill we were all in my buds backyard smoking weed around the table on his deck. I just remember when I toked up. It's like my lungs sent a text to my dig being like. You ready amigo? So I just had to sit in place with a huge boner around all my buds casually because my mind had associated weed to sweaty hot six. I had to take time after that to smoke weed by myself to train my dig not to get Ben steel rod hard. Anytime I'm in a car or a bus. It literally always happens and I just don't get it. I feel like I need to mention I'm not at all attracted to vehicles. Now it sounds like I'm definitely attracted to vehicles. I can hand on heart say that humans are the only things I'm attracted to. You don't believe that though because I've said too much. Frock. Edit. Corrected first sentence. I am not a car or bus. I meant to say when I'm in a car or bus. Great now you definitely think I'm a car or bus. God damn it. Edit 2. Thank you for the awards. Never had those before. The upvotes are nice too. Thanks for the dopamine. Now you think I've never had an award. I mean I have had awards before. Just not Reddit ones. This joke isn't even good anymore. I've overdone it. 
Jesus Christ. Getting a compliment. From a real girl. Ice cream. 1. Math class boners 2. Random boners in French class. Every boner I get is weird, considering I don't have a penis. Used to get boners when my girlfriend was crying. It made a 90 degree turn to the right. I thought it might have been pointing to gold. But it wasn't. Can I speak on behalf of an XBF? We were having an insane fight. Not even an argument. No a full on screaming competition and the whole neighborhood probably heard everything word for word. All of a sudden I saw it. Out of pure surprise and completely caught off guard I stopped my half of the screaming. What? Now you have nothing to say? He yelled. We should calm down. Your blood pressure is. Obviously. Hi. Single quote. WTF does that even mean? You have a boner. And in regards to your next question. No. Weirdest way to. Win. A fight. Not sure who exactly won most though. Elastigirl. Got one at my grandfather funeral. To this day I can't explain it. Back in 7th grade. I still remember it vividly. I was just zoning out in history class while others did presentations. The class was almost done so I figured I'd go the next day. Nope. Got called to go to the front of the class to present. The teacher calling my name startled me and all of a sudden it was happening. I walked quickly to the front of the class. Faced more towards the board and turned my head to explain my slides for my project. All while I frantically was saying the ABCs in my head to make this horrible nightmare to end. Fell asleep during class. Nearly had. Nocturnal emissions. In daylight. But I woke up instead. P. S. I don't get wet dreams. I just black out. I think it's because I don't fantasize at all. Because I used to be worried it would subconsciously affect my thinking when around my friends. Because 90% of my friends are the gender I'm attracted to. I lucid dream whenever I sleep in an abnormal way. Such as when I sit. So that's why I woke up in time. I also got a boner during the SATs. Both times I took them. And the axe too. I also was sneezing non-stop during both SATs. So I actually did decently. All things considered. I guess the boners in high school when I was like. Oh man. Five minutes till the bell rings. Erection. Oh god please go away. Erection in test fees. Bell rings. I stand up and immediately put my books and binder in front of my dig and shuffle off. You won't believe this. But I got a huge boner after watching Soul today. Something about the satisfying ending gave me a boner weird. One summer I ran into an old co-worker I was into. She was wearing a tank top so the moment we recognized each other she dropped her boyfriend's hand. Put both her hands behind her neck and stood inches in front of me as we caught up. We just had a normal conversation but after 5 to 10 minutes I noticed I had a raging erection and crazy energy. We used to talk all the time including 6 and never had that happen. The only thing unusual was how close she stood and she had her armpits pointed right at me the entire conversation and non-verbal flirting became really intense. While trying to get off a packed airplane. Super awkward. Get off. See what I did there? Middle school gym class. It was dance day where we were learning how to square dance. My crush asked me if I wanted to be her partner. Just touching her gave me an erection immediately. It was impossible to hide because of the shorts I was wearing. The whole class saw. Even the teacher. Lol frock me. Edit. Forgot that I tried to push it down in an attempt to get rid of it but of course it just bounced right back up lmao. Was watching a streamer the other day who is really good at this game I'm a fan of. She says. Back it up daddy. Mind you I have never been even close to interested in the daddy mindset and have never seen this streamer in that light. I had to walk away from my PC after that. This thread is gold. I'm crying lmao. Not me. But I remember a guy on the internet once saying he saw his parents watching a group of people naked in a pile. And years later he found out it was a holocaust documentary and those people were dead bodies. Accidentally looking at my science teacher's ass. Did I regret it? Yep. Did she have a nice ass? Hell yeah. Honeymoon. We went to get a couple's massage. I had a very large woman. She was not attractive at all. As she was massaging my lower back and sides I started to get a chub. I didn't piss before we went in and she was pushing on the right spot and my body was like, I got his bro. It took everything I had to get it to go away before I had to flip. 
My wife was in tears laughing when I told her. Was a petting a cat once. Got harder than titanium. Got one from having a girl's tongue in my ear. Also from having my toes sucked. Might seem tame to some but I had no frocking idea I liked that sit. I get boners seeing other guys in flip-flops or vans. Edit. Over 60 upvotes. I just have one question, where are all you guys hiding? ATVs always do it to me. I think it's the vibrations and constant jerking around from climbing stuff or going on a low gear over a rough patch. It's not fair. Girl I was into was treated poorly by her boss. I went to her to see if she was okay. She was pissed and on the verge of tears. After a few minutes of telling her that her boss was wrong. She was just doing her job. She was in the right, and that she deserved to be treated better. She broke down and the tears came. Instant boner. I was like WTF. I'm trying to emotionally support her here. And tears are absolutely not my pettish. My first day on Adderall. My god. I was at work in a meeting with boring. Smelly middle-aged men discussing company financials and I was scared my PP's gonna burst out through my trousers. I thought the pills turned me gay. My wife has me pinned down and was tickling me. Most confusing erection I've ever had. During a firefight in Helmand province. Afghanistan. Fourth period freshman year of high school like clockwork. Went on a band trip to Disney World during the school year. Got a boner. Checked watch. Bam it's fourth period. I promise I'm not a furry. But I was watching Dragon Ball, and Goku turned into an ape. I got the boner when Bulma. The girl was on the screen so it's not the ape thing okay. I hate it when I get a boner in church. It's probably the very worst place to get a boner. I was very hungry and craving a burger once. My GF kinda got mad at me for it. But I get it. One time I got a boner while sitting on my knees chins. And my junk was between my thighs. When I looked at it. It was just longer at first. Rather than. You know. Longer and wider. Due to I guess being sandwiched between my thighs. That was a strange boner. Not only a boner, but I used to practice L sit position quite often. Hands on parallettes and legs parallel to ground forming a 90 degree with your body. And L. And when I was holding it for some time there would be so much pressure that I would just come. Not even feeling an orgasm. Just the pleasure of it finally releasing. Listen. The native girl from El Dorado is unreasonably THICC. When I got raped, I was terrified and really didn't want to do anything. But I got betrayed by my dig, an ugly stain in an otherwise nice friendship with it. A lot of the sit from our, trashy boners. When I was 17. First girlfriend was a soccer player and pretty strong. She put me on her shoulders once as a joke. But also to show off that she could do it. Realizing she was that strong gave me a sudden and unexpected boner. I was still a kid watching the original animated version of the Adams Family. The Adams Family's cartoon. Neighbor's wife's ankle bracelet did it for me. Hard to explain. Pun intended. For some reason hugging my girlfriend while she is crying. I don't get it this ISNT even a logical moment to be turned on yet it keeps happening. A logic puzzle video game. It's weirder because I can't keep a boner when watching actual porn. I think it's because I'm concentrating too hard on the porn to actually keep the boner. But it also doesn't actually turn me on. And on the other hand I relax when I need to think through a puzzle and the relaxation does that to me. Not me. But my boyfriend at the time and I was watching a documentary about fish. How to get trough quarantine 101. There was this clip where we saw a female fish transition into a male fish. My boyfriend then coughed and sat in the. I don't want my partner to find out I have a boner. Position. I ended up asking if he had a boner. And he shyly nodded. I said it was okay and we moved on. By the way I do have his permission to post this. Right before getting off the school bus before high school. Every. Single. Day. IDKY. The whole ride to school. I'm fine. Dandy. The moment at 6. 40 AM when the bus rolls into the rocky roundabout driveway circle and slows to a halt and everyone starts clambering up from their seats. Getting ready for another day. So would me Peter. I remember clenching my legs so hard to get the blood to flow elsewhere. At best I could get up from my seat with a quarter chub. I have no idea why. It was the worst. Delayed morning wood. 
standing in the freezing cold being yelled at before the sun has risen. And bam, there it is. It was a quiet afternoon and I laid down for a nap. Half dozing and suddenly realized my hard-on was ticking. It ticked for about 20 minutes. Never have figured it out. 